Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Well now for a tutorial that is probably long overdue and that is changing the eye color of uh, somebody or something in your photograph. Super easy to do uh, and really takes moments to do. So we're going to go over that real quickly. One thing I do want to point out before we get going, uh, you really want to make sure you can see the eyes of your subject. When you can't really see the eyes of your subject, you don't have this nice light like we have in this woman's eyes here, it can be more difficult to add color, much less make the color look very realistic. So nice bright eyes are a plus, not required, but they certainly help. So I'm going to grab my zoom tool. We're going to zoom right in on her eyes right there. Okay, we're going to create a new layer, new layer button. There we go. Now that we've done that, we're going to grab the elliptical marquee tool, and I'm going to hold down my shift and alt keys to constrain this to a perfect circle and to pull it out of the center of where I am drawing. And I'm just going to come right out of the center of her eye with the elliptical marquee tool. And I'm going to use my space bar to drag this into perfect uh, positioning. And I'm going to let go. And there we go, we have a nice selection right around her pupil. I'm going to hit Command or Control Shift I to inverse that selection. Grab my brush tool, and we're going to go kind of crazy here with the color. Uh, I'm going to make it a sort of hot pink, like so. My brush tool is 10, it's a very soft brush. I'm just going to paint in quickly around this selection. You can see that just having this selection there is just simply going to protect the pupil, and it's also going to give us a nice sharp edge you know, like was there before. So wherever color shouldn't be, color will not be with uh, our nice selection. Command or Control D to deselect that, and we're going to move over to the other eye and Shift and Alt again to get that perfect circle coming out of the center and position it right over the pupil like so. Command or Control Shift I to inverse that selection. Hit the B key, which is the hotkey for the brush. Paint over this iris like so. There we go. Com well, let me just touch that up. Command or Control D to deselect that. Now that we have it on its own layer, notice that. By doing that, we can just set the blend mode to, well, move the layers panel out here so you can see what I'm talking about. Set the blend mode to color. And you can see she's got these, I don't want to say nice, but she's got pink eyes. Zoom out, and you can see, looks quite realistic. The cool thing about this particular method of coloring eyes is, well, number one, I can come in here, select this layer, and just give it a mask. And using my brush, I'm going to set my foreground color to black. And I'm just going to come in here and just touch up right there at the bottom of that eye and actually right up here at the top too. Get rid of wherever color shouldn't be or if you think there's too much of color, uh, too much of any color in one particular area. Now that we have her eyes, uh, this pink color, we can change them very easily. All I have to do is select this layer, hit Command or Control U to bring up my hue saturation dialog and start shifting the hue. Now you're going to notice with this blue, especially blue I've noticed, uh, can be very brutal looking. Uh, so what you want to do is when you get to a blue, just start desaturating the blue and you'll notice you'll get a much more natural blue color. Uh, and if you keep dragging over, you can get sort of greens and all kinds of cool colors. I mean red, orange, uh, yellow, all kinds of neat things. We can make her eyes here blue. Uh, we desaturate them a bit more, like so. Hit OK. And you can see just like that, we've created these nice uh, colored eyes. There we go. Shut that layer off. And you can see there's before and after. So you can really go crazy with it. I mean, you can obviously all kinds of surreal effects. That blue might be a little too heavy uh, the way it is right now. But very, very easy to add color to eyes uh, and change color of eyes. So that's how you do it. That's how I prefer doing it at least. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you can uh, use this method in your own work. And thank you very much for watching. Please go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com.